We're going to do a little exercise to illustrate resolution or pixels per inch. We'll go to File New and we will name this 72 PPI for pixels per inch. For the width, select 4 inches from the drop down by 4 inches and in the resolution put in 72 pixels per inch. Notice the image size is 243 kilobytes and hit OK. Uh, if your rulers are not on as mine are, go to View and make sure the check mark is activated by ruler. Then go to New and name this one 300 PPI. Make sure it's 4 inches by 4 inches, the same as the first and put in 300 for the pixels per inch. Notice the image size here. It's much, much larger, over three times the size. It's 4.12 megabytes. So put these files next to each other. You can go in the corner and resize it. And then if your navigator is open, if your navigator is not open, go to Window and click next to Navigator to make sure it's open. And then you can use this little slide bar here and pull it out. And then activate your other document and pull it out like this. Okay, and then you can go where the ruler is, uh, first on the vertical, and then you can left click with your mouse and drag and make yourself a little one by one inch here so it's a guide for you so drag with the guides and set up a little one by one inch just for you to get a visual of what a one by one inch space looks like in each one of your documents okay next on each one of your documents activate it and go layer new to put a new layer on top layer new to put a new layer on top if you have your layer palette open like I do you will see that new layer that appeared okay next you would click on your elliptical marquee it's on the upper left of your toolbar and where you have on your um, tool uh, bar on the top the horizontal toolbar where it says style you will click on fix size but after we complete this uh, little experiment, you have to put it back to normal. And then on the width, you're going to put 72 space PX. And on the height, 72 space PX. And then you're going to go to your 72 PPI document and just click in the corner of your square and you will see an activated circle. I am on this new layer. I'm not on the background. I'm on this new layer that I made. And I will take my bucket, paint bucket tool. If you don't see your paint bucket, maybe the gradient tool is up there. So you have to go to the lower left and look for your paint bucket tool and drop it in. And then you click Control D for deselect and you will see that it takes up the space of one by one inch. You can take your move tool here. You see, you can move that circle around. It is one by one inch on your document. Now, what do you think is going to happen if you take this one by one inch in your 72 pixels per inch document and drag it over to your document with 300 pixels per inch. We will do that. You take the Move tool and you left click on your mouse and you drag it over and do you see how small it is? There's no way that that takes up one by one inch and it doesn't take up one by one inch because this green circle is only 72 pixels per inch so it takes up a little less than one-third of this inch in this document. Now let's try it in reverse. Let's put another color 
in our foreground color. We'll click here and we'll go to the marquee tool and we'll change this to 300 by 300 because it's 300 per inch and we will go to layer 1, the layer 1 that we made. Don't click on layer 2 because that's the layer with the green ball, the first one. And we will click and we will drop in a different color and we will go deselect and use our move tool. You see we have our 1 inch this is one inch, but this is not 72 dpi. It's 300 pixels per inch. So if you move it over to your first document, do you think it'll fit in the one inch? Move it over. You see it, it takes up almost the entire, more than the entire document. Because 72 pixels per inch and 72 pixels per inch times 4 inches will only add up to 288 by 288 pixels if you go to your image image size so it's slightly less than 300 pixels so you don't even get the entire circle in there so that's just one way and one illustration for you to practice to try to understand the concept of pixels per inch and resolution.